This episode brought to you by preparewithdronetech.com. And right now, you can save $50 off a four-week supply of delicious meals that provide 2,000-plus calories a day. So go to www.preparewithdronetech.com right now and stock up. You've brought up uh, regionally the South, but out uh, in the Plains, in the Great Plains, we have Sturgis, South Dakota, is gonna be a, there's a gathering right now. What do you expect this rally to do to that part of the country? Well, I'm very concerned, Chuck, that we're going to see another surge related to that rally. But there comes a time when you're dealing with a public health crisis that could involve you, your family, and everyone else, that something supersedes that need to do exactly what you want to do. Let's get this pandemic under control before we start acting like nothing is going on. I mean, something bad is going on. I mean, we've got to realize that. Ah. Uh. Are we going to talk about Barack Obama's dance moves there, looking like the white guy dance from Friday the 13th? After weeks of concerted fear propaganda from the CDC and the Democrat state media about the new Delta variant threat, it was more than a little strange that Barack Obama was having an enormous birthday bash. And even though these people all claim to be vaccinated, they don't see the need to have to wear masks themselves. These people have been proving themselves hypocrites since this all began, which means nothing because they're not held to any standards. <laughs> Amid racist right-wing terrorist backlash, Obama announced that he'd be scaling the party back and everybody breathed a sigh of relief. Everything's gonna be all right. <laughs> Is one big pile of shit. A lot, I've been hearing from a lot of people today who are supportive of the former president, who like him, Democrats who think um, just the optics of this in this moment with what the with the message the White House is trying to send um, is, is off, is not helpful to progressives or to Democrats. Um, this is going to be safe. This is a sophisticated vaccinated crowd and, and this is just about optics. It's not about safety. All right, Annie Carney, thanks so much. You see, they're not hypocrite tyrants. They're your sophisticated betters. So just shut up, bigots. Except Obama lied, and the party was reportedly even bigger than originally reported. According to the Daily Mail, there were huge tents set up and hordes of people that began arriving Friday afternoon ahead of the party. One of the guests was Chrissy Teigen, who was just outed for being an online bully who actually encouraged people to kill themselves. It just goes to show how utterly fake Obama and these people are around him are. Just to juxtapose the media's blatant partisan double standards when it comes to COVID, when it's Obama, they circle the wagons and attack the critic. When it's a bunch of bikers who are likely Republican voters, they're spreading COVID despite being outside, which we were told is safe. That something supersedes that need to do exactly what you want to do. Let's get this pandemic under control before we start acting like nothing is going on. I mean, something bad is going on. I mean, we've got to realize that. Hmm, weird. He has nothing to say about Barack Obama's gigantic birthday bash. And once again, seems to be focusing on and picking on people that he sees as opposing him politically. Look for more deflection like this. My prediction is that the media will continue to warp reality and contradict themselves to spin this party as different when they do it. Or they'll just stop talking about it completely. It's been their playbook for the last 30 years. All right, folks, that's all I have for this one. Hit that like button and leave me a comment on your way out.